Hi, I'm Robin from the Rocky Point Bird Observatory in Victoria, British Columbia. And we've had a lot of people ask us about our net pulley system, getting the mist nets up and down the poles. So we thought that we would just give you a really short tutorial on how to do that. It's really quite easy and ingenious, I might add. So there's two really important things that you need. You need a shower curtain hook, or actually you need one for every loop at both ends of your mist net. So these are just regular shower curtain hooks, metal. I suppose you could use plastic. I don't know how long they would last, but we use the metal ones. And also you must have a eye bolt of some sort in the top of your pole, and it has to be closed. The rope cannot come out. So what we do is, before you erect your pole, you need to put the rope through the eye bolt. And this is just a um, quarter inch to three eighths of an inch poly rope. Well, you can use nylon if you want, but it's expensive. This one works just as well, and it has to be at least 18 to 20 feet. So in order for this to work, the part of the rope that is hanging towards you is going to be the shortest and you decide beforehand which side of the net you're going to be pulling up, uh, up and down the net. So if you've got a clear spot on one side, that's the side everybody goes to to raise and lower the net, that's what you're going to do. And I also want to mention that the loops on our mist nets, we color code them and that way it's easy to decide which loop goes where, keeps the net straight. So we got blue for sky, we got a traffic light, red, yellow, green, we got black for the ground, and occasionally if we have six loops, then we do another white for the clouds. <laughs> and so all you do is you thread it through, you've got the short loop on the side that you're gonna be mainly pulling. You take your long one, which is now hanging down, and you've got the other about, you know, 15 feet here. We're going to put it down through the shower curtain hook and we're going to put it up through the loop. Like that. Now you make sure that you can still grab this piece that you're going to pull because if it's up there it's gone. And we're just going to tie a regular overhand knot to hold the shower curtain ring and the loop together. Just like that. Now you're gonna pull your short one, up goes the net. You're gonna get it not too tight. You want a little bit loose. Same thing again, making sure your ropes are on the correct side. <laughs> Down through the shower curtain hook, up through the loop, overhand knot, and we're going to do pull it up, and there's two up, we're going to do three, you could probably only do two, it's probably pretty easy to reach the third one, but we're going to do three, down through the shower curtain hook, not too tight, up through the loop. Keep your other rope out of the way. Overhand knot. Now we're going to take the two ends now and we are going to do some sort of a knot. People do different ones. They do slip knots. As long as you, it'll stay closed and also be able to get it undone at one point. So I just do a wreath knot. There it is. And suddenly the net is up. Now you can't really pull it down. You sort of have to pull the loops down, but that's okay. And it just hangs there. Up it goes. This is way easier than having just the loops on the poles and using posts or whatever to get them up and down. Just like that. Easy to close. Just leave the rope hanging there when you close up the net. And that's it. And just something else I want to mention, we also color code our pegs, just the regular clothes pins. Uh, this is nat number two, obviously. Uh, regular clothes pins are for uh, just regular birds. 
green for recaps. Red, if you have a high priority bird, like uh, something stressed, something hurt, a hummingbird, whatever, we stick a red one. That way, when we go and leave these bags at the station for the banders, they know exactly what they've got in there. And that's it. And if you would like to know more about the Rocky Point Bird Observatory, their website is rpbo.org. Thanks very much.